No. Well, in the great tradition of uh, The Simpsons. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Nick Riviera. And today, I'll be cutting up a ban for you. All right. I, I'm not very good at Simpsons impressions. I apologize. I'm terrible at Simpsons impressions, and I should never, ever do them again. However, I'm not a man of my word, so I'm not promising that. Welcome back to Surgery Simulator 2013. I thought I'd give it another go after last night's stream, mainly because I've actually managed to beat the first surgery, so I can show you some of the new stuff. And we'll also try and see if we can get past the second surgery of uh, removing a man's kidneys. So let's get into it, and I've turned down the, uh, the game sound slightly on the stream because it was a bit loud on the menu. Uh, but this time we should be okay, so I'll just turn the sound of the game back up now. We are okay? Cool. So yes, Surgeon Simulator 2013, it came out yesterday on Steam for the low price of £5.99. No, I'm wrong because I'm stupid and I also have a very poor short-term memory. £4.99, so £5, uh, and it's 30% off for launch week. It will be £6.99 uh, after that, or whatever that is, in your local currency. Um, I do recommend you get it. It is fantastic, good fun. Um, if you'd played the, so it's four pound eighty nine on Steam at the moment. If you played the original Game Jam version that was created in forty eight hours, um, it's like that. But of course, with this being a full um, game, there are more new operations. There is new things in it to do, more uh, stuff, some Easter eggs, and some achievements. Uh, as you can see, one of the first of these extra things is uh, the menu <laughs> screen, which is actually, that's right, it's your entire desk, which, you know, like any good surgeon, I can poke around and, uh, uh, let's see what's in this folder. So yes, if you uh, haven't seen Surgery Simulator before, you control your hand with the mouse, you use your left click to go up and down, you use your right to twist your wrist, and you try and grab things with your keys, A W E. R and space for your thumb. So let's get into the operation, shall we? And see if we can. So we did the heart transplant successfully, and then we're... now we can do the kidney transplant. I'm going to quickly start off with the heart transplant actually, just to prove that I can do a successful surgery. So let's just see uh, how that goes. And if we do fail, I'll just move straight into the kidney surgery. So we've got to perform a heart transplant. So first we take off the covering sheet. This is where I try to remember the controls. Uh, already, despite it only being uh, a few minutes since last played. Uh, we'll grab the saw. Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, now it's on the drugs, so this could go very badly. Okay, we have the saw in hand, although we're not gripping it entirely well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right, no, no, still missed the saw. Okay. Yes, definitely have the saw now because we can hear it going off. So we'll twist our arm. So it's a lot like, uh, I mean, it's been called cooperation, and it's very much like that, you know. Um, if you've ever played QWRP, it's a game where you have keys for your legs and your thigh muscles, and you've got to try and run, and it's hilarious to watch yourself flailing about. A part of the charm is that the controls, I mean, people say that the uh, surgeon simulator has bad controls, which is its thing. That's not entirely true, it's not the same thing. It's not got bad controls, it's got deliberately, um, deliberately, not bad, I'm trying to think of the word, Deliber deliberately, it deliberately does not allow you to have the full range of motion. Really, you're not controlling a hand, you're, it's like you're controlling a puppet, um, so trying to do things by proxy, for example. So let's go into the ribs. And so it's not, yeah, it's not bad controls, such as deliberately difficult to use controls. And it's not necessarily the same thing as you know, saying that these controls are bad. So we're just cutting up the rib cage because it's in the way. You don't actually have to worry about putting, you know, about superficial things like having to put uh, bones and things back. Uh, you just have to worry about getting in, getting the heart out, the old heart out, and putting the new heart in. Uh, and the same for the other organs. There's also a new ambulance mode where you, uh, which you unlock after you successfully perform the other surgeries, and you can then uh, try and do it while in the back of a moving ambulance, just to make it that a little bit harder. And now we're just cutting into these ribs, 
slicing and oh, we will be cutting into his ribs. Uh, I've just got to readjust my hand here because my current aim is a bit cool. And you've got to try not to kill the you've got to try not to kill the patient, but I won't lie and say that I have deliberately killed them before. There are so many cool little Easter eggs uh, and achievements that you can get even if you do box it up. For example, one is uh, is called I think it's called Doctoring the TARDIS and you've got to make him Doctor Who and if you are a Doctor fan, you'll know that means you have to give the man two hearts. Two hearts sharing just one man. Right, okay, let's let's get rid of some of these uh, pieces of rib. Let's get them out of the way. Because they're clearly just they're slowing us down. You out. No, not the lung. I'm trying to grab the rib the pieces of bone. Out. Be gone, ya foul demon of bone. No, I have the lung. I have the lung. It's like it's like trying to have you ever tried to wrestle a toy off a dog? It's a lot like that. Only slightly gory. Uh, okay, so that's not coming out. We need to put that in there. Let's grab this. I'm just uh, struggling to grab a piece of bone here. Ooh, right. I think we have a piece. No, we don't. Wow, I am very poor at just grabbing pieces of bone. Okay, in we go. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Yes, there's a piece there. <laughs> Get out of there. Fling that out of the way. Now we've got some of the bone out of the way. I mean, you know, it's just excess bone. Who needs that? Alright, uh, let's get rid of that piece of rib. So we'll take our soap. And we'll slice away. Like excess bone. We don't need it. We don't want it. Let's cut away these annoying ribs. Just so not causing these problems later. Oh. I've gone into the it's gone into the organ as you can see my loss rate in the top right hand corner uh, is showing the rate of blood loss. If that gets to if the blood level gets to zero, we kill the patient. We don't want to do that if we can help it. Okay, uh, there we go. Now I think that's it through the bone, so we can put the saw down now. Let's get some of this stuff out of there, shall we? Oh, there we go. <laughs> we have released the lung! Release the lung! Right, we don't need that. Let's get rid of that lung. Success to requirements. Can we pull out this uh, this lung? We can. It's a bit stuck on the rib. Let's see if we can get some more rib out. That might be easy to get rid of the stomach there. Can we get this other lung out? It's quite firmly in there. Pulling hard. <laughs> Trying to get the, limb, uh, the lung out. If not, no matter. We'll, uh, we'll try and get rid of the esophagus next. Oh, there's a bit of slowdown here. Okay, so we definitely have firm grasp of the lung. It's very resistant to moving. Let's, uh, let's get the scalpel. Let's try putting the esophagus. So here I'm just using the thumb and pinky. Try and get hold of the scalpel. That was actually pretty well done for me. So we have the scalpel. Of course I'm kind of blocking my own view slightly so peripherals uh, not my strong point. But I think we can get a good clean cut in here if I can just find the piece I need. Okay, let's, uh, let's get another bit out, I think. So do we have that? I uh, can't tell. <laughs> Alright, we're pulling. Okay, let's get the saw back and uh, let's do a bit more. Cutty, cutty, slicey, slicey. Oh. Annoying pieces of bone seem to get in the way. I think we have released the lung there. Well, my, my 
might as well cut into the bottom of the esophagus and free that up. Okay, I'm not sure if that's free, but let's find out. More piece of bone. Yes, that's a lung. There we go. Be gone, lung. Be gone. We don't need you. Some pieces of bone everywhere. There's a lot of bone. <coughs> Excuse me. I know it's running out of time because of the uh, blood level. Down to the low 2000s. Okay, let's get a scalpel and try a bit more precision. No, scalpel. I want the scalpel. Oh, it's a lot like trying to grab a teacup in a bath. <laughs> I can't pick up the scalpel. Nurse, give me the scalpel. Nurse, nurse. Oh, I have. I think I have the scalpel. Yes, I have the scalpel. It's attached to my little finger. I can I cut the right part? There we go, that's through the esophagus. Now we need to cut the heart from its ventricles. And I think... We're nearly through. There we go, right we're through, quick! Because I know we're running out of blood. Right, let's pull that sucker out. Come on, you don't need you. We don't need the heart anymore. There we go, we have the heart. We have removed the heart. Alright, now we've got to get the new one in. We don't have long to do it. Right, and stick it in there. Go on, go on. Oh, come on, it's in. Hey, we've done it! Victory! D! But we have victory! Uh, final blood level of 1085 mils. Saves your time of 9 minutes 50. Hooray! The operation was a complete success! And now let's move on to my friend Mr. McGregor with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg! It's a kidney transplant. <coughs> so the kidney transplant. Double kidney transplant. It's a similar to the uh, heart one. So let's have a look what's in here. Remove the sheet. Ta-da! Like a magician. Oh, put it over here. Although my hand's clipping through the sheet. Oh god! Oh god! I need to surgically remove the sheet from my arm. Oh, it's stuck. Right, okay. Put it over his eyes so you can't see. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I just fall down there. Right. So we have intestines. We have gallbladders, uh, we have ribs. We don't actually need to get through the bone, that's kind of distracting. So what we'll do is take this little saw here. Oh, no, we've launched it into the air. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, my watch just fell off. Go away. Okay, we have the saw, we have the saw. Get off everything else. We have the saw we want. So we need to cut into this intestine. There's one piece of it. There's another bit. We need to get rid of the big one as well first. There's a lot of cutting. Oh, and slicing here. Well, of course, it's surgery. Blood loss is quite. Blood lust? Blood loss is quite uh, considerable. But I think we're not doing too bad considering. I just need to actually cut the right piece from the large intestine before it will come loose. One of them is down here somewhere. I might need to readjust my hand. I can't see past my own arm. 
This isn't a great state of affairs. Oh jeez. Okay, let's just try and pick up the knife from a different angle. I'm butchering this man. Look, it works for butchers. There we go. Wait, there's part of the... Oh, I think we've actually... F yeah, we've freed the... Uh, freed the intestine there. Sorry if you can hear that low rumbling. It's my speakers being a pain in the ass. There we go. So that's out. Apologies. Okay, let's drop that down there. Alright, let's pull out this intestine, shall we? Intestine, come! Intestines go forth! And we've put it on this guy. You can wear it like a scarf. You actually get an achievement for doing that. There you go, there's a little meat, meat scarf for you, sir. Please enjoy your meat, meat scarf. Oh, don't don't have to thank me. You don't have to thank me. It's, it's all in a day's work for me. Oh, wait, you're not finished. Okay, right. Okay, I'm not finished. That was my bad. Okay, so let's dig in a bit more. Actually, I'm gonna because you can use these drugs now. You can hit them yourself, and you'll get drugged, which gives you a, an annoying, uh, a lovely psychedelic effect as you're trying to do your operation. However, you can actually use them on the patient to stop the blood loss or to slow it down considerably, and even make it stop like that, as you can see. So that's a successful administrating of the drugs. Now we just need to cut out this lower intestine. We're going to need our trusty kidney blade again. Now I just need to figure out where to cut for this bit. Because I'm not entirely sure. I've done it before. But admittedly kind of by fluke. <laughs> so let's see if I can remember where the magic spot is. <coughs> to free it from its... Infernal entrapment with the other organs. No, you said there we go. Freed, right. Let's drop that. Okay, small intestine. Out of the body. The power of surgeon compels you. The power of surgery compels you. Leave this body. Be cast out into the fourth of frozen north. Get off my hand as well while you're at it. Silly intestine. Get out of that body. Go back from whence you came. Oh, no. Don't go back from whence you came. That would be back in the body. Release me! Release me! Oh, God. Okay, this isn't gonna go well. We've not got much time. blood left. No! Oh. Well, I can make it up to you. Shocker? <laughs> shocker, anyone? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, no one wants a shocker. No shocks for you, sir. However, I could shock myself. I don't think I'm gonna do this in time. Do you want me to shock myself? Oh, fine. For for the comedy, for the lulls. Let's give ourselves a bit of an electric shock. What you do is you take a scalpel. You take, I said you take a scalpel. I said you take a scalpel. Oh, God damn it. You take a scalpel. There we go. And you find an electric socket. Such as this one. And then you go... Poke it. Ow! And now the controls are reversed. Just to make it that little bit more harder for you. So let's let's try removing it with the controls reversed. If I'm more successful, that would be quite funny actually. If I'm most <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be more successful with the controls in reverse. That is quite humorous. Humorous, get it? It's a body oh it's a medical joke. No. Oh. Well shut up. <laughs> okay, in we go. 
And we extract the small intestine. No, no, we extract the small intestine. Get out of there. Get out of the body. Be cast out. Ooh, for shame. You are not welcome here anymore. Although with my reverse controls, it's still hard to do. Oh, God. No, I think we're going to lose this patient, nurse. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I feel. That's what I feel right now. Screw you, silly man. You think you can... Uh, one of those... No. No. Yes. No. Yes. It's because you're going to die. So, screw you, mister. Screw you and your intestines. Although, oh. <laughs> well, we killed him. It well, it wasn't going in so well, but it was going well enough. Let's put it that way. Right, let's try again. So yeah, it's harder than the other ones, but there's still a definite sense of yeah, you can do it if you're just patient enough. <laughs> patient. It's another medical joke. It's it's like they're coming out of the goddamn walls. Get off me. This... Why must you stick to me, cloth? I want nothing to do with you. Get off. Get off. There we go. Now we can't see what horrible fate is about to befall his organs. Right, so... Let's, uh... Let's get our trusty knife again. And we will cut... For victory! And justice! and mainly to get the organs out. But those things are probably involved in that, right? So there's our first insignia. Now, we're cutting in a very... I'll say methodical. I'm sure it isn't methodical. <laughs> but if we pretend it's methodical, and if, if, like, if the inspectors come, tell them it's methodical. Tell them I'm meant to do all this. Let's get, there we go. There's one part of the big intestine gone. Large intestine, big intestine. And the other part is there. Oh, there we go. Now we'll see. We have just loosened both intestines. That was actually even more successful than last time. That was unexpectedly successful. So let's turn around and let's pop our hand in there. Here, yeah, boy. Here, yeah, boy. Uh, uh, that's the uh, surgery dog uh, that I feed all these organs to afterwards. There you go, boy. <laughs> have it on your face. It's like a face hugger from Alien. Only more meaty and from your own body, so you probably, uh, you might want to check where it's been. Okay, let's dig in for some more. This is like those crane machine games that you get at the seaside, except instead of a prize every time, it's a wonderfully warm, meaty organ. Fun for everyone to tell. Don't wake up. Don't you wake up. No. No. You do not wake up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Right, so into removing the large intestines. Grab, grab the intestine. Come on, grab, grab it, grab it, grab it. Come on, grab those damn intestines. I have the stomach. No, I want, I want the intestines. Give me intestines. Intestines! Come on! Oh, uh, I think I've got him. Yes, I have his intestines! Victory! Now get out of the body! Be gone! Cast out onto his face. There you go. That's a nice little sleep wrap for him there. <laughs> oh, God. That is that is brilliant. I'm going to take a screenshot of that because that is fantastic. Right. So, we can see the kidneys, we just need to get to them. So we're gonna need... I think we're gonna need something with slightly more precision for this next part. I say more precision. Should I cut out that bone first? It might be worth doing. So let's cut out this bone. Oh. No, go out the way, bottle. No, no bottle, no for you. There we go. Let's get rid of this unsightly bone.
Oh. <clears throat> okay, Bloodlust is getting quite bad at this point, so let's get off <laughs> get off my hand. I've let go. Get off my hand. Get off my hand. There we go. Right, let's get some let's inject him. Let's slow down some of this bleeding. Slow down the bleeding, hopefully. There we go. Bleeding slowed down. Okay. Can we grab that stomach yet? I'm twisting it. I'm twisting your, uh, well, that's not stomach, is it? That's the liver. I'm twisting your liver, sir. Excuse me while I twist your liver. Nope. Okay. Let's get a knife and choppy choppy. Choppy choppy. There we go. Oh. Well. I think we got that out, so that's alright. See if I can slice this bit off. I'm actually not really not doing bad at the moment. Having a bit of trouble trying to disconnect certain things. Let's drop that onto there for now. Let's remove the stomach. Because it's just getting in our way. Oh god. Get off. Get off. Get him. Oh come on, I've got that. <laughs> I had it in my hand. There we go. No, we don't. Oh, God. Come on. No. I'm trying to grab. Oh, why is it so difficult to grab a stomach? You would have thought it's an important part of the body or something. I think we have it. We have it. There you go. Taste your meaty stomach. There is your meaty stomach. Right, so... We have most of it out. <coughs> okay, we just need to cut out some more. Nope. Struggling to grab the scalpel back again. No! Well, we don't want to cut my hand. We appear to be slicing my hand. Okay, let's try and get one of these other scalpels. Maybe we'll have more luck with them. Okay. Doesn't seem to want to pick up these scalpels. Come on. There we go. We have one. Now let's go in here and... Carefully slice. I'm actually quite impressed with the amount of precision I'm managing to do myself somehow. Excuse me if I get incredibly close to the camera at this point because I'm trying to see where to cut. There we go, there's one. As the kidney is free, questions can we grab them? I'll definitely grab one of them. There we go. 
on, come on. <clears throat> Be free! Go free, young kidney! Go! You're free now. I don't know, do I have that? No. It's the stomach that's kind of in the... Uh, sorry, the liver that's kind of in the way at the moment. If I can get rid of this liver... Or if I can just get under the liver... And grab this kidney... Oh boy, oh boy. In fact, maybe my hand's just not twisted around all right. Hmm, I don't know why I can't grab it. I got my... certainly got my fingers on it. So we try cutting again? Yeah, let's try cutting again. Damn, this is frustrating. Oh god, dang it. Come on. Right, don't, I'm gonna go in with a hammer. <laughs> this is probably gonna end badly, but I'm gonna go in with a hammer because I'm running out of time swiftly. No. And if this doesn't do it, I don't know what. Curse your hammer! It's hammer time! Captain Hammer! They need my saving expertise! Like throwing a hammer in there! Yeah, god. This guy's gonna die. And the hammer will not relinquish from my grasp! It is now part of me! I've become one with the hammer. Yes. I can't seem to grab the stomach for the life of me. No matter how much I try. No. <laughs> oh, 12 minutes. I was doing so well. So, so well. And it all went to pop. Okay, let's try again. Let's give it another go. That might, I think my hands are on the wrong keys, you know, looking looking back. Anyway. Oh, again, with I keep getting the cloth trapped on my hand at the first the first point, don't I? Apologies. Right, so we have our kidney knife. Just keep cutting, just keep cutting. Is it lupus? It's never lupus house. It's never lupus. It's me with a stabby thing. Thank you, Dr. Gregory House. You've saved the day. What now? Now we berate an employee. Oh, good. That's my favorite part of your work. Me too, Wilson. Me too. And then there's a, a theme song. Um, which we all know, the uh, famous house theme song. House, house, he's a man who's very grumpy, and he's a doctor too, and he sometimes does drugs. And yeah, house, house, everybody loves house. Right, that's how the theme song goes to house. I know, I know my TV. I dare you. Let's remove the intestines. 
Big up. No. No, these intestines do not want to move. Come on. Everyone loves house. Except for house. Because he doesn't like himself. And he's full of self hatred. Hey! Sing along. You know the words. True story House, then, uh, actually, The Walking Dead is a sequel to The House. To House. Um, the TV show. And it turns out it was Lupus. Um, everybody. Everybody had Lupus. And it made zombies. That's, uh, so that there's there's a piece of trivia there. I don't know if you knew that. But the more you know, you know, uh, you can actually see Cuddy in a freeze frame on the first episode of Walking Dead. So he's behind the door that says, uh, don't open dead inside. Come on. I didn't cut enough of the uh, large intestine out. So let's cut some more. Toppy toppy. Slicey slicey. And we slice and we dice and we do it again. And we slice and we dice and we do it again. And we just keep slicing. Just keep slicing. And we cut. Free you from your shackles. Intestine. Oh just stab in the general direction. Shut up it works. I want to really, I need to free this uh, stomach here. So if I can just poke in its direction until it comes out. And then worry later about how accurate I'm being about it. See, I know there's a bit there that needs to come off. Oh, Joe, I did not want to drop my knife there. Ah, oh, well, it's dropped now. Can we get to the, uh... Can we get to the intestine? We've got it! Pull! Pull, sir! Use your strength! Use your strength and pull! Nope. No joy. No joy. Hmm. Okay. How about... We use the syringe, and we get the beaker out of the way because who needs beakers? And we get the needle, and we go past the patient, and we use the needle uh, in the plug socket. Because why not, eh? Come on, come on. Come on, I want to inject electricity with drugs. What can possibly go wrong? Electricity and drugs! It's like super drug electricity thing. Kids don't do drugs. Super electricity drugs! You get high and then um, stuff happens. Remember kids, don't do drugs. Into the... Oh. Dead patient, I wasn't here. <laughs> You can't prove it. I was never here. Look, look, I'm closing it over there. I'm closing over the sheet. Uh, I was never here. Just watch me slowly close the sheet over as I pretend that I never touched it. I was waiting. I was waiting for the other surgery and I got here and he was like that when I found him. Look, see? Um, I, I was never part of this. Um, and he was, he was like that when I got here. That's the truth. You can even ask the other surgeons. Surgeons? Surgeons? The surgeons. 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 Sergeants, that's the word now. <laughs> Let's give it one more go, shall we? Double kidneys? Well, you know what? If people didn't have double kidneys, it'd make this job a hell of a lot easier. Wee! Go, my pretty sheet. Be free! One sheet from Bounty. Which is a toilet paper manufacturer in the UK. If he was using a bounty, um, the chocolate bar as a as a sheet, that would probably hold my interest more. Right, beaker, <laughs> because you know I just wanted to put that beaker there. This is everything I do in uh, Sergio Simulator 2013. Completely intentional. 
completely intentional, including me scraping this knife all across the uh, various parts of this guy, this pa our patient. And if you become a surgeon as part of, uh, due to the training that you received from Surgeon Simulator 2013, please let me know. Um, you can find my Twitter at the underscore B and the other various methods you can find me are all just there. <laughs> are just to the side of my head. Um, basically because I want to know which doctors to stay away from if I am aware that you have been training using this as your actual simulator. And then I'll make sure never to get an operation from you. Ever. As long as I live. Why? The knife is stuck in my hand! I am knife hand! I am unstoppable doctor! Oh, no, there, I've lost it. I, I lost... I melded... I was bitten by a radioactive piece of operating equipment. And now I have the power of a hand with a knife stuck in it. Except I don't. I wonder if I can use the healing hands method. <laughs> no! Do not die! I will pull on your large intestine until you promise not to die. Well, this isn't going well, so let's get out the laser, shall we? Let's get the frickin' laser beam. Right, so we get the laser. Come on. As soon as we pull out the holder, it starts cutting. So, now, this guy here is who wants, uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So we need to cut through. Now, can we cut through bone with this thing? Don't actually think we can. Oh, maybe we can. Slice into bone. Slicing through intestines. Slicing through. Shall we, shall we make this like James Bond look? Let's, uh, <clears throat> no, we pull it back over here. And then we just like go. <laughs> it's like James Bond. Ow! That hurt me. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> Let's play the laser pendulum swing game. Whee! <laughs> and now it just kills indiscriminately. So it wasn't me, if anyone asks. It was a laser that was got a mind of its own. Let's go in with the hammer. Because if you can't do it with a hammer, if it can't be fixed with a hammer, it's clearly impossible. Dig, dig, bang! Curse you! Curse you! Oh, we're fishing it out with the hammer. <laughs> right, so we'll stick the hammer in there. Uh, we'll spin around. And then... Where's the new organs? They're in here. Right, no! No, I need those! I need those! Oh, fine. I need those damn things. No. Get back here! There we go. Right. So, let's give him a kidney. There you go. <laughs> Stick the kidney in there. Uh, oh no, he's definitely dead. <laughs> well, four minutes it isn't too bad, is it? <laughs> oh, it was. Okay, okay. I keep saying one last time, and that's the thing with this game, is that you say it one last time, and you end up continually... Continually having just one more go to see if you can get any further. After this one comes brain surgery, so I do really want to try and complete this one at some point. It might be during the stream, although given my current progress, I doubt it. We'll see. Again with the heat passing on my hand. There we go. So, down we go and. Kitty the saw. And now we cutty cutty cutty. No, oh, we cutty 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 if I didn't drop the saw. Okay, so technically I have a better grip of it than I did before. But not as much precision. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's jumping! 
It's got a life of its own. I'm not in control anymore. The knife wants to go where it pleases. I have a sentient knife. Right. Let's try it again. This is maybe cutting eventually. No, we walks. Not the walks. The damn walks is in there. <laughs> My veins walks. Or as Nick Rivier says, the leg bones connected to the something. The something's connected to the red thing. The red thing's connected to my wristwatch. Uh oh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie, big and a pokey. And if you need medical help from me, call now. It's 1 800 Doctor. The B is for bargain. Oh god, right, move. Stupid thing. Give me knife. Give me knife. Right, stabby stabby, inward. Going on a stabbing adventure. Stabby stabby. Pokey pokey, knifey knifey. Not a very good one. But it's an adventure all the same. Okay, right, so that's still not working out. Let's try dropping. That went miles. Okay, so let's twist our hand. Now that might actually be good for us, that position. Nope. Yeah. Right, so we're kind of scraping now a bit. <laughs> okay, let's get in there, come on. I'm not sure if this is helping or not, really. <laughs> I want to presume it is, but I have a bad feeling. It's probably causing more harm than good. Try dropping it again. Oh no, it's spinning around. We've lost it inside the patient. Oh god, now we really have lost it inside the patient. There we go, now we've got hold of it. Now can we just maneuver it into the right place? Okay, there's part of the light intestine freed. Yes, we've got the light intestine out. Right, okay. So I need to stop that bleeding, so I'm going to get the syringe. Stop some of this blood. Buys a bit more time. That beaker is in my way again. Get out of it. Wait, we have syringe. Poke it in there, shall we? There we go. Syringe poked. Let's grab this intestine. Oh, no. Doesn't want me to grab it. Hang on. Grab the intestine. The claw. The claw is our master. The claw decides who will go and who will stay. Oh. He has been chosen. I go on to a better place. Farewell, my friends. No, nope, I have not been chosen. He has not been chosen. Because he didn't have his hold, grab tight hold as I thought he did. Come on. Son of a beehive. There, we have it. No. Oh, come on. I had my fingers right on it. Now we've got it, surely. How is that not counting? Mm. 
No! Get on my hand! There we go! Farewell, my friends! I go on to a better place! Oh, the claw. There we go. Right, so that's that out. One down. <laughs> Several more to go. Right, so we still haven't got that free. So I'm going to do a bit more slicey slicing. Move, Beaker. You are in the way. No! My knife! <laughs> you need my knife! And it's right near the business end of that scout of the uh, of the drugs, so let's be careful. My knife! My knife! Your money or your knife? Oh, oh gags everywhere. Right, okay, so slicing off the stomach. There we go. The intestines are free at last! Let's put that out there. It's gonna be hilarious if I manage to do it on this one, give it the longest one so far. Right. Grab intestine. Pick up the intestine, put it on his face. I pick up the intestine, put it on the face. I don't know if it's stuck on something. There we go. I was gonna say, I did have hold of it. Put it on the face. Remove intestine, put it on the face. Down we go in. Let's get another piece of intestine out. Oh, it can stay in there. He can, he can keep it. I didn't need it anyway. No, no, nope. We still need to get the uh, stomach out. So let's go for something with a little more precision, shall we? Watch my fingers. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we have a knife. Call that a knife. See, so you've played knife with spoonie before. There's a stomach free. Still trying to free this errant liver. Sure, I have to slice through that green bit, but I can't seem to get in there. Anyway, let's do that for now. Spin that over here. Get off me, scalpel hand! Can I afford to inject him again? I think I can. If I can grab the syringe. No! No, I'm batting it further away from me. Come on, syringe, I need it. Need you syringe? Yes, we have a syringe. Let's pop that sucker back in there. There we go. Put us a bit more time. You can be gone. again. Again, we're kind of doing well here, so I'm a bit scared that I'm doing this well. Because this, this bit's always a complicated bit. I'm not sure how to release that liver. I'm trying to cut the green bit of what I assume is its... Uh, connected to, but it doesn't seem to actually release it. Apparently you don't have to um, remove it, you can get around it, but I've not successfully done it yet, obviously.
Yeah, let's don't slap for now. Let's reach in and grab. Reach in and touch. Never kidney. Reach in and touch kidney. That's a Marilyn Manson reference. For any of you music lovers out there, get rid of that kidney. Let's give him this new one in advance. We take the kidney and drop it in the slaughter. Right now we need to get rid of this one. It's his own personal kidney that he uses for personal use things. And oh, does he use it with gusto and malice. I can't pick up the scalpel. Come on. Okay, I seem to be attacked to the tray. Don't wish to alarm anyone, but I'm attacked to the tray. Okay, we're off the tray, we're off the tray. Get this scalpel. This one doesn't cut through, I don't know what to do. I don't even know if we loosened the kidney there. There we go. Done that the first place. I'm not sure if that's helpful or not. Have I released the kidney? Oh, we're running out of blood. We're running out of blood. Okay, just dump that in there. Let's try and fish the kidney out. I think we're still attached. Oh, hell. Another unsuccessful surgery. Pull it out, come on, come on. Give me! Give! Give! Give oh, there's no give on this liver. Give, give. Bad dog. Bad donkey. You know what? Screw this mess. You're not gonna I can't even get out with the body now. If you're not gonna play ball, I'm just gonna stick a drill in you. Sadly I think he's gonna die before I get there. And so. He was drilled to death. Whee! Flying drills. It was not going to go on, go on his ear. Go in his ear. Oh dear. Well, sorry I was absolutely crap again, everybody. <laughs> but at least you got to see some of the kidney transplant uh, this time. Uh, as you can see, there's also a brain transplant if I ever get around to finishing the kidney transplant. And then you can do ambulance mode in which you're doing the same operations but on an ambulance while it's moving, so you have to worry about things falling out. Um, thank you for joining me for this live stream of uh, Surgeon Simulator 2013, or if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, I'm sorry that I'm not better at this game. But if you want the game and think you can do better yourself, you can get it from Steam, uh, on the Steam page, uh, sorry, on store.steampowered.com. Uh, it costs £4.89 uh, at the moment. Uh, and then it'll go up uh, in about a week's time to 6 99 You can check out the website for the game on www.surgeonsimulator2013.com. The studio is Bossa Studios, very cool people. Um, you can, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, or you can look at my uh, Twitch TV page to look when your other broadcasts are going to be on, or my YouTube channel to see the recording of this. Um, but again, Thank you for watching on my website, wtf.com. You can find me on Twitter at the underscore B, youtube.com forward slash THEB, or twitch.tv as you already may be watching, uh, THE underscore underscore B. Thanks for watching. I've said that about five times now because I'm trying to close this when the ringing of the phone is annoying me. There you go. So thanks for watching. 
Uh, and hopefully you'll join me for another stream in the future. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll let you know when that will be. So thank you very much. And uh, happy side nerding, because that's a thing now.